Elite, the third generation drug eluting stent from Translumina, combines the next generation stent technology with high clinical performance to provide one of the best DES amongst the present generation. Elite uses the patented DES technology from German Heart Center Munich which combines the synergy of microporous surface with biodegradable polymer for optimum release kinetics of serolimus that provides enhanced efficacy and safety proven in large randomized clinical trials. Elite is one of the first drug eluting stents that comes packed in a temperature controlled environment ensuring high quality and optimal performance in Indian environment. DES primarily is a combination of a drug, polymer and metallic stent platform. Various trials done over the past decade prove that serolimus and its analogues, also known as limus drugs, have proven to provide efficacy and safety. Limus drugs have strong immunosuppressive properties which enable them to provide high anti-restenotic efficacy as they control the healing process at the stent adhesion by inhibiting the smooth muscle cells proliferation. However, Limus family of drugs are highly temperature, light, pH sensitive and extremely hydrophobic compounds with a narrow therapeutic index and need to be stored at an optimal temperature of 5 to 30 degrees Celsius as higher temperatures degrade the drug and compromise its potency. Most of the DES is recommended to be stored at 8 to 30 degrees Celsius. But in India, with the day temperature crossing 40 degrees Celsius in most parts, the multi-channel transit from manufacturing site to cath lab via a chain of distributors and stockists and delivery vehicles exposed the drug eluting stents to unfavorable conditions. On exposure to temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius, the drug eluting stent undergoes oxidative degradation and auto-oxidation that results in formation of a complex mixture of monomeric and oligomeric compounds. These monomeric and oligomeric compounds impact the therapeutic activity of serolimus. The degraded serolimus compound, 34-hydroxyserolimus breakdown, produces an open chain isomer, retaining less than 10% of the immunosuppressive activity of serolimus, thus making it ineffective for use. The packing consists of an outer polystyrene box which controls the temperature by not allowing the heat to pass through it. Further inside is an aluminum pack that has a coolant coating inside to maintain temperature. The packaging doubly ensures the temperature and complete sterility, leaving no chance for contamination by organic as well as inorganic impurities. The packaging is monitored with a compact, highly accurate temperature monitoring device Tag Alert, developed by Sensitech USA. While Tag Alert ensures reliable information, ideal for a variety of in-transit temperature variations with specific alarm conditions, its easy-to-read digital display and reliable electronic operation enables immediate decision-making to reject the DES which are overexposed to high temperatures for the safety of the patient. Elite is a high-quality DES with clinical benefits that are adapted for the Indian conditions. Conventionally, stents are coated with the drug and the polymer matrix that is spread over the stent struts on abluminal and luminal sides as an aerosol forming multiple layers. This technology uses equal amounts of the drug and the polymer. However, in Yukon, an innovative and more advanced technology is used for the drug coating. Micropores are created on the stent surface that act as reservoirs for the drug. A top coat of small layer of biodegradable polymer is applied over the drug-loaded micropores. This helps in using only one-fourth of the polymer as compared to the conventional DES. 
Also, Yukon stent surface is coated abluminally with no drug or polymer on the luminal side of the stent for enhanced safety that results in reduction in stent thrombosis and healthy endothelialization. Drug release process. In a conventional DES, the drug release process starts as soon as the DES gets deployed. The optimum drug release kinetics is achieved by a slow diffusion process due to lipophilic attraction of the lesion surface and inertia of the covalent bonds of the drug polymer matrix. The drug is released between four to six weeks but polymer stays forever. Whereas drug release in Yukon is a combined function of polymer and microporous surface. Optimum drug release kinetics are achieved by a slow diffusion process due to lipophilic attraction of the lesion surface and inertia of the Wanda Waltz forces of drug on microporous surface and polymer. The drug is released in four to six weeks and the polymer gets completely degraded in 60 to 90 days, leaving behind a bare metal stand which assures enhanced safety for the lifetime of the patient.